This is the story of Shah Mikhail Mahmood. He was 22 years old. On the 21st of September 2021, he was shot eight times and died from his injuries in the Wood Green area. Chilling CCTV footage shows a gang celebrating after they had gunned him down. The killers were caught on CCTV hours before the shooting in the Green Lanes area. At about 8.15, one of the defendants drove a stolen Jaguar to a secluded car park and left it there before returning to the alleyway where all his friends were waiting two miles away. At around 9.25pm, all the defendants handed their phones in to Medi Yunis. This was to avoid cell site indication which would show the whereabouts of the killers during the murder. Units then handed them over a bag full of weapons. Shortly before 10 p.m., all the group bar units got into the Ford Galaxy and were driven to where a stolen Jaguar was parked in a secluded car park off Oak Fork Road. They got into the Jaguar and drove around two miles down Green Lanes and parked up close to the junction with Fairfax Road. At around 10.30 p.m., Sean Mickey was walking along the pavement. Ali Cisse and one of the 17-year-olds got out of the car and ran towards Shah McKay with Cisse discharging a handgun. Shah McKay was struck at least eight times with bullets. Two other men were in the vicinity were also struck by bullets. After the shooting, both males jumped back into the car, which was driven away. The group from the Jaguar returned to the alleyway and CCTV captured the two 17-year-olds attempting to set light to the latex gloves they were being wearing in an attempt to destroy evidence. Yunus was waiting for them and returned their phones. Upon receiving his mobile, Abdul Muhammad made a telephone call which the group embraced in what can only be interpreted as an act of celebration following the attack. The Jaguar was driven to a service road off Oak Fork Road when an attempt was made to set it alight. This was only partially successful when the car was recovered by police. Incriminate items were found inside. These included a tracksuit with a one of the 17 year old DNA on it which also had traces of gunshot residue. They also found a partially burnt pair of trainers with the 17 year old DNA on them and a machete sheath. A number of latex gloves were found close to the scene of the car. They contained the DNA of Cisse and Mohammed. Found in the same location was a disposable face mark containing Cisse's DNA. On the 23rd of September 2021, the Ford Galaxy that had been used to transport members of the group was stopped after being seen to drive erratically on Crofts Lane N9. While police were unaware of its involvement in the murder at this point, the car was found to be on false plates so or was seized. Inside the car were the two 17-year-olds who had both been arrested. In the meantime, Cesar had travelled to Gambia but was arrested on his return to the UK on the 27th of October 2021. He could offer no reasonable explanation for the presence of his DNA at the scene where the Jaguar had been set alight or for his, his movement when shown various CCTV clips. He was subsequently charged with Shah Mickey's murder and the attempted murder of two other men. Yunus and Mohammed were subsequently arrested on the 18th of November 2021. Cesar had originally denied all accusations against him. But a few days into the court, he decided to admit everything and also named Abdul as the driver. He took personal accountability as the gunman, but he said that he didn't want Abdul to lie. He wanted to admit his involvement because the families of the victim had suffered enough, but also he wanted Abdul to tell the truth so that the two 17-year-olds wouldn't be punished. Yunus, Muhammad, and one of the 17-year-olds were all found guilty of murder. The other 17-year-old had a hung jury. They will all be sentenced at a later date.